Hey Greg, how's it going? Good, how about for you? Fantastic, we're here at the HR conference and we have the yellow jacket that made some changes to the pumps that I used to use back in the day. Greg, what changes have you made to these pumps? The pump itself hasn't changed. We've kept the same design. However, we added the DC motor to the pump, which is actually a much more efficient motor. So it runs on lower voltage as well. So we're able to pull this on at 90 volts, whereas your normal system, when they start dropping power on the power company down to like 108 volts, you'd have issues with starting this one. This one doesn't have those problems. The other really cool thing about the DC motor is we actually have a soft start capability on this. So if you were to lose power and you're under full vacuum, you're able to start this thing and pull back under the full vacuum. We don't lose vacuum because of our technology that's in this pump, but you're able to pull it back down. And normally when you're doing it with an AC motor, you're starting hard start, trying to get that pump going and you're hitting it like a sledgehammer, right? Yeah. On the DC one, it does a soft start. So it just ticks it basically until it breaks through and gets everything going again, which is basically that oil seal in that rotary vane pump. It gets it going and then it fires right off. You're back up and running. You've never lost your vacuum the entire time. So Quite it's, impressive. it's pretty cool. I noticed now you have your sight glass going all the way down to the bottom and before they were just at the top. Yeah, we made it so that you have full visibility so you can see that oil a little better, get better uh, condition of the oil. So you know, hey, if it starts turning milky, you gotta get that out of there, right? You're never gonna pull down in that full vacuum. It's one of those things with, with oil, it's a little tricky because you don't know for sure if your oil is bad because it doesn't always turn milky, but if you're not getting the full vacuum on a rotary vane pump, it's definitely the oil, right? You change out the oil, you're able to bring that right back down. What's your biggest issue with vacuum pumps? Biggest issue for failures with vacuum pumps? They, they don't change the oil, they go, why doesn't this thing work? Oh, there's your fix. Put new oil in it. So, yeah. Let's talk about the uh, your vacuum tree here. What makes that different? So, that gives us the option with your shutoff valves on there. You're able to hook up your vacuum, right, on the gauge itself. But then you're able to hook right to it. Um, it gives you flexibility. The other thing I guess I forgot to mention, too, on this one here, we actually went to the larger size port, too. Oh, nice. So, this one's got the small port on it yet. And so your evacuation is much faster because so you got going three eighths versus half inch. The half inch, yeah, yeah. And so, so you do make this tree with the uh, half inch, great. Yep. yep. And then you have micro engage that go uh, with this product as well. Yes, yeah. So we've got a couple different, well, several different styles of micro gauges. When you go into the the digital style, where it's just basically an analog movement right. of a digital gauge, uh, we have the analog gauge for the vacuum. But then we have the new uh, last year vacuum gauge as well with our YJAC series product. So now you're able to put it all into your phone. You can actually pull that vacuum, put it in a report. You can do your data log on the vacuum. So you can see over time how that actually pulled down. So if you're not at the job site the whole time, because sometimes these are big systems, you're able to get all that information, have it all recorded, pull it up and say, okay, what did this actually do overnight? How fast did it draw down? And then at the end of the day, where am I at? Vacuum, I think right? even more important than that is proving that you're able to do the vacuum. So Prove you did the vacuum and then the cool thing too with our app is you can actually do a vacuum hold test. The decay test. Yeah. So now I can say, okay, I pulled it down and not only did I pull it down, I shut the system down. It wasn't running on the vacuum pump anymore and it held the vacuum. So your system is actually complete, right? It's not going to leak on you. It's awesome. <laughs> what are these valves rated down to in microns? Uh, I believe it's right around uh, 15 microns is actually what the valves are rated for. Pretty so, impressive. Yeah. And how long do your O-ring, how long do, you, uh, do they last for you to replace them? It really depends on how tight you tighten them. So okay. people will wreck them if they over tighten them. Right. But if you tighten them just so you get that good snug fit, um, we've seen them last for years, basically, uh, where they don't have to replace them. Now, what's the difference between these pumps versus these pumps? So this is our Super Evac model. It also has the DC on it for the back end. Um, this was a change we had actually done last year. So we had launched the new Super Evac Plus model, uh, Plus 2 model, last year um, with the DC motor. But the really cool thing on this is it actually has a shutoff valve built into it. Nice. It's got the gas ballast, so you can pull that water out of your system, you know, and then tighten it back down. And then it also has the, uh, the gauge on it, so you can see that it's pulling down without having your other gauge hooked up, like your tree gauge here, to, to say, hey, am I actually pulling the vacuum with this thing? Or, Again, is my oil bad, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> so, and what, uh, what microns do you recommend closing your gas ballast to? So typically what you're going to do there is you're going to see kind of how it's starting to perform, right? So if it's if it's not dropping down because you've got so much water in the system, you want to get that to boil off. Right? As that starts boiling off, 
you're gonna you're gonna see it no longer vaporize basically, and so you're not gonna see all the water coming out. Then you just shut it down and you let it pull itself down. So it's it's not a set. What is that magic number, right? Okay. So right. Right. so yeah, you kind of just have to watch the system and play it by ear on that standpoint. And something your pump has is uh, this little port here. Can you explain that? So this, uh, if you look underneath this cap, we actually have where you can take this, uh, this screen off right. and you can hook up a garden hose to be able to vent that out because if, if you've ever done a vacuum job, you realize this does breathe a little bit of oil on anybody's machine because you have a whole case of oil, right? right. And you're pushing air through oil, it's going to get some in the air. So now you can run that garden hose and you can put it out of that area so you're not putting that oil vapor into that area especially important where you're dealing with things like computer systems that kind of thing where they can't have oils in there that's a super important thing so yeah you can hook that curtain hose up and get it out of there fantastic well thank you greg this thank is you. straight from yellow jacket not just me talking about it and <laughs> just one last thing i'd like to point in greg is there any kind of monetary connection here whatsoever no no just no, walked I... up met greg <laughs> wanted to talk about the pump so uh if you guys enjoy if you have any questions leave in the comments thanks so much Thank you, Greg. Appreciate Thank you. you.